everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Leader Class, Jeff Fire. His alternate mode is an SR71 Blackbird. His primary colors are black, red, uh, bluish gray. It does have some white, some silver. It does have some other details. It has JTFR for Jeff Fire. has on the sides of the cockpit, you won't be able to see, but it says Lieutenant Colonel Brawley. Uh, does Brawl fly the plane? <laughs> I don't have a freaking clue. And there's also some writing I can't read. Sorry. Some of you can decrypt that. It has a Decepticon logo there. It has a 179-172 on it. it. has a skunk Pippi Le Pew. Uh, Pippi Le Pew. All over it. it. does have a scratch out Decepticon logo. He is an Autobot, so... Doesn't really explain a whole lot about his story in the movie, though. He is kind of useless until he dies. So, anyways, um, he does combine with Optimus, like in the movie. But just to let you know, this figure is a little bit fragile, so I'm going to be a little bit careful with this figure. The turbines here are soft rubber plastic. Same with the the little nose, the tip of the nose cone right here. They like flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. F Hasbro. Um, also. If you notice, he does have a silver cockpit, which is very cool, so a very nice looking cockpit, but other than that, nothing really spectacular. Our transformation is very simple. It's kind of simple, kind of. Let's see how far we can get. It does have landing gear. The first thing when you just want to remove uh, this little thing comes the gun, and remove the front landing gear, open his hands. That becomes his cane, as seen in the movie. His actor will be at TFCon this year, so if you're going to TFCon as I'm going to TFCon, be aware that I'll be there. That didn't make sense. Anyways, uh, after, so once you do that, then you want to rotate the legs downward. Uh, pretty similar to the Fallen, but not exactly close. Uh, bend the legs forward, uh, rotate them around, bolt landing gear back, uh, flip the feel around, and then rotate the feet feet back around like this, and then flip the landing gear back. So kind of a complicated for the legs, unlike some other, unlike most of the other toys I've reviewed and other toys I haven't reviewed. So, anyways. Um, it also has the little pegs for Prime's legs, but anyways, we'll get on to that once we get into combined mode. So that's the legs. A little bit tricky to stand, so I'm just going to stand him up. He's quite tall, so we may need some double triangle action here. So. Double, 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 double. Anyways. After that's done, uh, then you want to fold up the wings, the tail fins and stuff like this. Extend the uh, jet thrusters like this. Then we'll come back here. Split the entire front of the front of the jet, and you want to split and fold the arms downward like this. Fold this piece, fold the half of the jets up, and then rotate the the wrist forward, and then do the same with the other arm. Like this. Kind of simple, but at the same time quite intricate. And then you want to take this, fold it down, and then, oh man, this thing's flying around my camera. Take this, you want to yank, pull, you want to, well actually untap, and then yank, pull. Anyways, man, this is tricky. Anyways. Do that. Um, uh, that piece that fell off is the big bazooka that Optimus comes with, so I will mention that later on. And then I want to fold fold back these rubber pieces. Then you want to take these pieces like this, rotate them around like that. Pull down the uh, jet thrusters like this. And 
then just oh oh crap. Fold these uh, pieces with the GF DTFR back, and then once that's settled, then uh, oh I forgot to mention it does have lights and sounds. Push on this button right here. That's the that's the uh, combined sound, but this button makes jet noises. Headlights up, anything lights up, everything that lights up, lights up. And then you want to peg him in, and then it makes a transformation sound. God, come on. Son of a... Come on, you're almost there. Oh, you're there. There we go. It does the reverse transformation sound like that. And once that's done, just take take the whiskers. Pull the back reveals the face, so you can play peekaboo on your on your butt. And there you go. That is Jeff Fire in robot mode. Um, head turns side to side. Mouth opens if you wish, though he doesn't have a booby mouth. Dang. Oh. Um, anyways, arms can rotate, they can go in and out, they can bend at the elbow, they can rotate, wrist can rotate, no waist, legs forward and back, in and out, bend at the knee, when you rotate them, the gears move, foot and heel band, and that's pretty much it. He does have his cane, fits in his hand, one second here, does have his cane right here, fits in him like this. Like the movie, and plugs into the same little silver hinge as in plain mode. So, yeah, that's a problem. The cane falls off quite a bit, but, anyways. So, there you have Jetfire all transformed and stuff. Now, he does combine with Optimus Prime, but let's see if I can fit it into this video. Because his transformation is tricky, and I didn't want to break anything on this figure. So, Hopefully you don't have to do a second take. Oh, and also he does have a firing missile. So, uh, hooray. It's kind of a Gatling gun, so to speak. But anyways. So, I'm going to get Jetfire first since he's, you know, the beef. The whole beefy, 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 beef, beef. But anyways, um, I'm just going to take off his cane and his gun because uh, they become useful. And then take his... This back portion that becomes a piece for the part of, part of one of the guns. Take the jet exhausters, extend them, fold in his whisk, fold back in his whiskers. Um, unpeg. Oh, I forgot to mention he does have little lights and sounds. He says, "Jeff fires my name." Well, that's not how he says it. Well, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, we know your name. So he says, "Jeff fires my name," in his sexy Scottish accent. Anyways, you want to extend this. You want to rotate the legs. Well, actually, don't don't rotate the legs. Oh, actually, you have to for the uh, for Optimus' feet, and then fold the legs back like this, like that. Take the arms like that, and just fold them around like this. Take the jet exhausts. Oh, actually, connect the connect him his back to the little back portion he was as he was before in his alt mode and okay there we go um, hopefully the battery doesn't die but anyways want to bring Optimus into the picture crap I'm so tired of the falling camera
Anyways, uh, you want to basically disassemble him. Uh, I'm going to get onto the guns in a minute. Uh, well, actually, a few minutes. I have to get him into. Anyways, uh, basically, what you want to do here is you want to come first his first his back section real real quick. I'm going to take his straps here. I'm going to, un un I'm going to strip them like this, like stripping his top off. And then you want to rotate these little sleeper panels down. Then you want to fold. Then you want to take these V V shapes, so V tanks, whatever you want to call them, and then fold them back like this, kind of like you're turning him into truck mode. So do that like this, and then you want to un unpeg his feet. Yes, I know this is slightly off camera, so be asking me for a second take. It's kind of like Archimedes' death ray on Mythbusters, so just a Confederate rocket or the Seesaw Saga, so just dive to survive my ass. Anyways, and then you just want to basically um, tap these babies into place. Hmm. One second, the little jet exhausting's catching up here on me. Anyways, the camera will just, yeah. But anyways, you want, to, you want to tap his legs right here. Got sort of got one in there. There we go. Got one leg in. I was going to say or not, but it held in there pretty darn well. And then do the same with the other one. Oh, a lot tricky on camera than it is when you're transforming him off camera. So, there won't be any Robots in Disguise reviews anytime soon. Well, any one transformations that are tricky, but I'm not trying to insult the primes or the or the, um, yeah, anyway, there we go. There we go. Just got the that leg into place. And then finally, after so much work, peg him on like this. And the instructions tell you to take this torso piece connect it to place. However, there have been reports that this thing will break, so I just prefer to put it off to the side for the time being and all that sort of crap. Anyways, anyways, Dog Dog Gum Transformed, though it's slightly off camera. There I have to this, so take care everyone. See you soon. Bye.